What's happening, fam? LA y'all movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. This video is entitled Born Without the Knowledge of Inheritance. I was born in 79, at the very end of 79. Well, near the end of 79. So all the 80s babies, you know, I remember the, the conversations that we have now, I remember inheritance not being uh, talked about. I remember the stories of family members who had, who gave other family members opportunities. I remember the stories of family members who, who actually received inheritances in bloom. I remember the families um, splitting because, you know, one side of the family wanted to respect the inheritance and the other side wanted to blow it. So I remember if you was on a, if you was on the wrong side of that family, you were born without the knowledge of inheritance. And you remember I remember the, the, the old school women in church with the with the big hats who were shopping and buying expensive clothes because their husbands died, so they was just you know, shopping his retirement away. You know, even if they were taking care of the family, you know, they were shopping it away. And the thing about it is, I see now, you have people like myself who you can call, you know, pseudo, pseudo 80s baby, right? People have had, have, have had kids. And... Some of our kids didn't come up in a in a drug era, in a crack era, predominantly. We, they didn't come up with the drugs and the violence like that. And these conversations that we're having, in some ways, there's some people like myself who came up in those eras in those cities. And you know, when people talk about the fatherlessness and the crime and the and the harsh environments and the hard realities. Some of us have provided a better life for our children. You know, w w without real knowledge of inheritance. And you're not gonna get credit for that. That's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Because people have come into the knowledge of inheritance now. Now, in some ways you could say people already knew, but we were a generation where you know, the drugs and violence kind of, it kind of warped that. So, you know, you had a lot of people just trying to get it. You, you know, I remember when, I want to say Tupac and MC Breed did the song, you know, I got to get mine, you got to get yours. They had a whole debate about that. Well, you're supposed to help people out. Why, are we, why do you want to go out here and you just want to get yours, but you don't care about the next man? And it's like, you're talking to to a generation of, of people who didn't, who weren't born with inheritance. We 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 inherited the back end of the struggle. We inherited, you know, the the, the violent era, the drug era. We inherited all these, you know, uh, laws that weren't in, in place before. Like I remember talking to my grandmother when she, when she was alive and and. One of the things she told me was, you know, um, I don't know how to relate to to, to, to the, your type of struggle because I've never seen it before. And you got to think about that. Like, that was my grandmother. Like, she's seen a lot at that time, but she couldn't relate to my struggle because she hadn't really seen it before. And that my quote unquote stories and struggles is probably normal in our community. And that's the thing. Like what what some people are asking of us, even when we, you know, we we're trying to rebuild a community in ways um from in ways that skip over 
that 80s and 90s crack, you know, drug and violent era. Like that was our norm. And people skip over, you know, they skip the 80s and 90s and talk about the 70s and 60s and how come you can't be like, you know, remember what they, they did in the 70s and 60s and like, I'm from a generation that was not born with the knowledge of inheritance, real talk. You know, sugar water, you know, sugar and cereal, you know, syrup sandwiches, tang sandwiches. I didn't eat mayonnaise. I was not, I, I ain't no mayonnaise sandwich for me. You know, the fried bologna, you know. Like, we, we didn't have, we, you, things that you associate with hood life and poverty do not equate with luxury or legacy. And people seem to forget that. You know, we didn't, we didn't, you know, we didn't get cars when we were 16 in high school. I remember people dealing drugs to get box Chevys and Capris and Caprices and, and um, Caprice Classics, you know what I'm saying? Oldsmobile Cutlasses and 88s and, and whatnot, Delta 80s, I don't know, you know what I'm Those type of cars, you know, because they knew they wasn't, they had nothing coming. You know, we used to think about suburban kids as kids who actually had inheritances. We we didn't we didn't know you was actually supposed to provide for your children so they could you know have a, a leg up on the on the world. You know, some of us were jealous when we found that out. Like, wow, okay. You know, so it's a different mentality. And then you know some of, we we've had kids and some of our kids uh, swearing they're having a struggle when they're not. You know, they think the you know we didn't you know we didn't close the gap. You know we didn't make it even, but we we closed the gap is what I'm trying to say. Between you know between giving the younger generation more than we had. And giving them more opportunities and legs up than we had, but some of us have to deal with the ideology that some of these kids actually think that they could make it back then. They actually could survive in those environments, and it's and it's weird because even the hood has changed in some parts, in some ways. Because what people consider the hood now wouldn't be considered the hood then, if you understand what I'm talking about, like. You know, people, I'm from such and such and such and such, and you be looking. It's kind of quiet. It's, you know, decent. Really don't hit too much action in the day. Don't see too much action in the daytime. Don't hit too much action at night. Okay, I mean, I guess so. But, like I used to talk about, like, you know, but when my first semester in college, it was hard for me to, to, to sleep. No gunshots, no helicopters, no police sirens. That's a norm for a lot of us. You know, and some people who raised in the hood, now that's, that's not a norm for them today. You know, some of y'all grew up in, in places where when they, they if y'all call the police, they gonna actually come. <laughs> nah, you know, it, uh, Hey, police, I'm on such and such and such and such. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, player. I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, run, duck, you know, because I'm, I'm sure we're not going to be there in time for you. You know, so, but people don't think about us like that. You know, I see, you know, kids are actually walking around with, with collections of clothing and shoes and video games you know and it, it, you know e even books and you're having if, you, if you're in the science you got collections of scientific you know scientific uh tech not technology but but, but games that helps you uh learn science we're not and i'm not just talking about because the smartphone exists i'm talking about because mm. the parents are like yo you you gonna have opportunities that I did, you know, norms that 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 we didn't like 
Wait, what? Y'all got hot water all year round. <laughs> Y'all got electricity all year round. Like, and some of us forget, you know, and, and we made it work back then. We made it work. And um and some of us have have, have we have some of these issues with, with, with relating to people because sometimes people didn't have these life experiences. You know, some of you know, people like oh, every, everybody coming from those neighborhoods didn't choose the streets. So you can't use that argument. You know, I was struggling. I had to sell dope. Everybody didn't sell dope. I never sold dope. You know what I'm saying? I knew about it very, very well. I knew about the streets, but I was I wasn't in gangs. I knew I, I, everybody I knew was in gangs and selling dope. Just I'm just gonna be real talk. And I hung out with people to the point where you know sometimes. I could technically be a target because, you know, people associated me with other people. I was I was in neighborhoods with the wrong colors on, wrong, you know, logos and everything. You know, ain't you? No, I'm not. You know, I had to, I had got a reputation as the guy that, when I was younger. Oh, that's such and such. You know, he you know, <laughs> he, he no, nah, he ain't in it. But we know, we already know, cause cause I grew up with everybody, and. And why I'm talking about some of this stuff right now is because we, you know, we were born into not knowing inheritance, and people are talking to us as if, you know, we grew up with the knowledge of of leaving something, as if we grew up with receiving an inheritance, receiving inheritances, knowing, being taught how to what to do with them. And having that responsibility and wanting to make our children have a better inheritance than we did, we didn't have that 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 knowledge. You know, the best we had was go to go to school, go to college, get an education, get a good job. Now you seeing us grow up and telling our kids the entrepreneurship and all that, and some of us got it along the way, but that wasn't our norm. So I'm just putting that out there tonight. Peace. <laughs>